Hey guys! So today we are bringing back an epic video that I really loved doing on my channel and that is Shop My Stash. I've still been doing Shop My Stash like I this is my stash okay. So we want to pick some more stuff. Excuse this um this is like the craft slash makeup slash swatching slash all that kind of good stuff table so it's been through the ringer but yeah I want to go through some of this stuff as well, but I also am going to pick a new, and I'm going to give you kind of a little rundown of my, I want to say closet, but it's not a closet, it's like a vanity. I want to give you a rundown of my vanity, my lip stuff, all that kind of stuff, so that you guys can kind of see what I'm working with here, and the fact that I am on like a very low buy right now. It's not showing, but it is showing. I'm trying to get through things this year. I really want to get through some stuff this year. But yeah, anyway, if you're interested in seeing what my vanity looks like and the stuff we are going to pick this month for Shop My Stash, then stay tuned. I love you guys so much, but I do not have any makeup on and my hair isn't done, so we're not going to show me too much in this video. So the first thing I'm just going to start with, and this is really quick, if you've seen my lip declutter, you have already seen this setup, but this is where I put all of my lip stuff. I wish that they were all these ones, but these are $20 a piece, so I haven't got around to changing everything, but I hate this setup here. It's, it's okay, it's just, you know, it, it's not the best to know where everything is. But that is my lip stuff. Um, it's just like it's done by color, and I just gotta get. I did a review of every single drugstore eyeshadow palette I own, and yeah, they're all in here. So I gotta pick from a few of these as well because a couple of these are new that I just threw in. So I need to get those out so I can try them up. But yeah, we are by Lip Story, so like nudes are always kind of on the top. Nude lip glosses are two drawers. Then we've got like some lipstick types of nudes. We have got, what are these? It looks like there's some metallics and some berries in here. More nude liquid lipsticks. More nude liquid lipsticks. Oh gosh, I'm terrible. Then we've got like berry liquid lipsticks. I have these stupid little things for my background in there just so I don't lose them. Oh, see, and this one always gets stuck, and I only have one hand right now. But yeah, more berries and pinks. So uh, just ridiculous. And I got rid of like 46 of them or 36 of them. Watch that video. I will link it if I can, or stay tuned. Obviously, subscribe. But yeah, this is my vanity, which I never use. I never sit at this vanity, and that's why there's no mirror. Where I normally sit is actually, but yeah, I normally sit right here. My mirror is right there. My stuff will normally be right in this corner right here, which is right here. Um, I'm not sure if this is exactly how I used to do it, but this is the way I've been doing it for a while. I have these three containers and I kind of have separated them out, put a few containers inside them, and this is my everyday stash. I would rather sit on the floor and really concentrate and, you know, have fun with my makeup um, rather than sitting on a chair and doing it or standing up. Like, I could take an hour and a half to just chill out, do my makeup, have fun with it. So, yeah, minor in containers. I switch these out every week, sometimes every two weeks. We'll see how it goes. I'm planning on doing one of these a month, but if I do, you know, like want to do a few more, like every two weeks, then we will do so. But yeah, inside this is just a lot of new stuff that I've gotten over the past, you know, month or so. And yeah, I took a lot of it out because I wanted to start fresh again but there are quite a few things in here that I still want to use. So yeah, guys, I hope you are interested in this and let's go into my collection a little bit and you can see what I've got in here. So this right here actually doesn't have anything in it. Some masks from Seventh Heaven. I can't remember what's in these drawers. Oh, okay, so like not makeup. You know what, I need to utilize these for sure. Yeah, like curling and stuff, and no. Okay, so remember, I need to utilize these. This actually comes up, but we're not going to go there at this point because it always stores my pens and the 
the uh, nail polish I'm using, a couple things, just like I have like up here, I have this mug that my dad got me with lip liners and actual pens, God. Anyway, lip liners up here, then when we come into this one, there's like tons of foundations, a pair of lashes, but yeah, foundations? No, girl, no. These are concealers. So yeah, tons of concealers in here. And then this one always has a hard time because of the Anastasia. But yeah, in here you have more concealers like Benefit. I've got these from the dollar store. I'm still kind of weary about using them. I don't want to mess up my skin right now, but I did want to try them out to see if they were any good. They're like color corrector kits and contour. Like you could totally use that as contour. Then I have like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, AOA Studios White Concealer, and then some eye primers, CoverGirl, Wet n Wild, Too Faced, all that jazz. Now let's see if I can actually get this. See, like it's that Anastasia one. You've got to come out. I'm sorry, girl. You don't fit well with others. I'm gonna put her up on top there. Anyway, the next drawer is getting into your like eye, not eye bases, those like glittery eye toppers, I guess. And then I have a couple extra concealers, which could probably fit up here, but. Regardless, I have one from Wet n Wild, Pixie. This is the newest one I've gotten from Stila. And we're going to pull that one out, actually, because I want to use that this week. And I'm also going to pull out this one from e.l.f. This is in Seafoam. These two would make a great pair. Anyway, back to the box. Um, we've also got a bunch of the Stila. They run out really quickly, and I've mentioned that in a few videos. Then we have the Mariposa Metallic Fluid Eyeshadows. These you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. I've yet to do a video on them, I think. I need to use them more. Anyway, then we've got the Essence um, Liquid Eyeshadows. Can you tell I'm into liquid eyeshadows? <laughs> and like the tiny little bit of single eyeshadows that I own. I own very few. And... These are my not, like, these ones are all not opened, including this one. And then these ones are all the ones that are open. Bad girl, Melissa. You know what? I'm going to try and use this one up. And I think I'm going to get rid of them. This was the Lash Renegade, but it's in purple. Remind myself to never buy another, um... I'm trying to say I'm never gonna buy another colored mascara because you can make your own colored mascara with literally just like cream paints or whatever Woo! oh my gosh Melissa you are wrecking the place so as we come over here now I'm gonna change this up and I'm probably not gonna film it I'm probably just going to like change them up and then I'll show you the ones I picked uh, but this is where I keep all the palettes that I've been using recently so in here is the solar flare by BH cosmetics some singles from coastal scents what else? Oh, got a lot of Kat Von D in here because we've been talking about her a lot. So Kat Von D, Saint and Center, Fetish, Metal Matte. This is the Pastel Goth. And then we have the Too Faced 20th Anniversary, one that I was not happy with. And we have the Tarte Tartist Pro Remix palette. And then we have the Kat Von D 20th Anniversary, which was leaps and bounds better than the Too Faced one, let me tell you. Then over here, uh, just a lamp and some, like, these are odds and ends. There's a base in here, the highbrow, some liners that need to be thrown away because, oh, this one's good, actually. This is the Marc Jacobs. I just hate the color. It's in cocoa. Ugh, I wish I had a better color. But yeah, some NYX Vivid Brights, all that good stuff. Eye brushes up here and, well, down here. And then up here we have my eyebrow stuff. Very small piece of my collection. I don't know why. I've just been into other stuff other than eyebrows. God knows why. My eyebrows need work. But yeah, I have like the Anastasia brow, uh, Kat Von D. This is her brow stroke. It Cosmetics, Essence, NYX. This is their, um, you know, their little one. Not really my favorite, to be perfectly honest. Um, Maybelline Temptations, ColourPop, Anastasia. A brand new e.l.f. one. If you guys have ever tried this, this is awesome. Just letting you know. Anyway, so when we venture downstairs, we have my backgrounds for my Instagram photos. And then we have powders 
and blushes. And I am in for a few powders myself this week. I need definitely to pick. I really have been loving this and I think I just want to finish it. This is the Better Skin by Maybelline. I don't have much of this left. I'm going to do this this week. I'm just going to throw that into the pile because I definitely need like a setting powder anyways. Here's another one of those um, Mariposa color correcting kits. Ooh, if you can ever get Joe Fresh, which I think is only something that's sold in Canada, this is their, um, what is it? Their translucent loose powder. Really amazing powder. Like, I love this powder. And it was pretty cheap, actually. Uh, the rest of these are just, like, tons of powders, and I'm just thinking, like, maybe an under eye setting powder. Let's grab a few of these. I like to have options because, you know, who doesn't? This is the Makeup Forever one, and I haven't used that either. You know what? I'm going to throw these ones in. I have the Makeup Forever. I have the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And then I have my trusty old e.l.f. Um, under eye setting powder. Doesn't give you a lot of coverage, but it's, it's pretty good. And then I have a couple blushes in there right now, and I'd like to use a couple blush palettes. Ooh, do I want a cream contour? always a tricky question to ask. I should probably try and use this up. Insta, do a contour stick, balimel. We're going to try and use that up because I probably have that for a bit. Now I got to get down on my knees and go into the face palette drawer. So we're looking for blushes, maybe highlights, a mixture of both. We'll see in here. You know what I'm going to, mm, do I want to pull this out? What have I not pulled out in a while? Gosh, Melissa. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what? I'm going to pull out the little Jouer. I want to see. They're bringing out a blush palette, and I want to see if this one is part of the collection. This one is in Kiss Me and Touch Me. We're going to pull this out to use it this week, and then, you know what, hmm, what should I do? You know what, let's pull this one out. This is the Sephora. This one is their um, blush contour palette. I think is that's what they call it, is like a blush contour palette, so we're going to pull that one as well. I love those palettes. Like, looky here, I have their contour one, I have their highlighting one, and I also have their, like, this is our holographic one. I want their spice palette, and I want that one by, I think it, they're uh, collabing with a YouTuber or something. I can't remember. All right, I also have, obviously, a ton of single highlighters. Who doesn't have a huge highlighter drawer, honestly? It's just the thing. And, you know what, I'm going to pull this one out. Whoa! No, no, no. See, this is what happens when you have to do it with one hand. Oh, goodness. Hopefully you can see well, because I definitely have to hold it. Okay, holy jeez, you will have no idea how hard that was to do. <laughs> I actually ended up having to, like, pull the drawer out, put the camera down. But I got two of them in my hand right here. This one is the Physician's Formula. Oh, what is it, a natural nude? But what color is it in? Shimmer Strip? I don't know. You guys have seen this one so many times. Robbie D. Christie loves it, and I just don't know if I love it that much. Anyway, another one. This one's from Physician's Formula as well, and this is in champagne. It's their mineral glow pearls. This is really pretty and you know I want to keep trying it out. Now as you know this is just brushes and beauty blenders or you might not actually know now that I think about it but yes I have changed this all into face brushes and beauty blenders. Not beauty blenders. They're usually Swiss for sponges, Sephora sponges. Uh, this one is the L'Oreal sponge. Tons of different ones. Anyways the rest of it this is normally where my drugstore eyeshadow palettes would go. Then we have the madness. So the first drawer we have here is kind of smaller palettes and larger palettes. Palettes that will not fit in my normal setup over there. So we have all of the ColourPop palettes that I've had, but they are empty because I put them in a much larger palette, which isn't in here. Then I have the, um, what is that? 
the OMG palette. I have the Fairy palette. This one is kind of cool. They are selling them at, um, what is that place called? Oh my gosh. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I will put it right like in the box right there because I know I'm going to think of it. Showcase. Ha ha ha. They were selling these at Showcase and they are really cool looking. They almost look like a book. Like it's a book. And even on the actual palette itself, they have like chapters. This is the one I got. They didn't have the one that I really wanted, which was the colorful one. But some of the greens in here are so pretty. I don't know. I think I might do like just... I don't like doing, there was like five of them and I hate doing like a review on just one of them. See, tell me if you'd like a review on that. But yeah, I also have my Juvia's Place Magic palette. They don't even make this palette anymore. It was like the big one. I paid $85 with shipping and everything. That's something that I kind of regret. I have my Kat Von D little trios down there and then a very viral, um, well, viral for me, video on my channel is the Focal Lure palettes, which I could never understand. And, like, you know, we have Smashbox. We have the one Huda Beauty Obsessions palette I have. We have all of my um, Natasha Denona singles down there. Oh, I really kind of want to use those some more. Anyway, then when you come over here, the first drawer here, ba-bam, is palettes. I have been trying to keep my palettes down. I've actually um, decluttered a few of them. I did take some video footage of the ones I've decluttered. I just haven't, I don't know where to put it right now. Anyway, when I do a video, maybe I will stick it in there when I do like another declutter of some of the other stuff I have. But yeah, these are my Urban Decay palettes, Too Faced, Huda Beauty, um, Lime Crime, the one palette I have from them is the Venus palette. Then as you go down further, they are bigger palettes. Oops, sorry. Uh, Too Faced. There are Urban Decay from Holiday. This is the Lemonade palette. My Naked Heat is down there. This is the one Sorry about that plug. So ugly. I totally have to fix that now that I'm doing this more often. But yes, I'm trying to open this. Ba-bam. This is my ColourPop palette. And I think, yeah, these are actually all ColourPop except for those two little square ones. Three little square ones, which are from Makeup Forever, if I'm not mistaken. They were like little samples. But oh my god, I love this. Like, I wish I could show it to you a little better. The lighting in here... Is terrible today because it's kind of all fluorescent lighting but you get my point I have a bunch of ColourPop palettes and I just stuck them in there so we're gonna put that back where it belongs again there's a bunch of different palettes in this drawer this is just like a lot of bigger palettes um, this one is an OTZ palette that I also got from showcase they sell those on Amazon and on eBay there's a few that are really pretty, and I've seen them, and I've wanted them, but I haven't ordered them. Then we have the bottom drawer, which is all like the medium-sized palettes. So I have all my Anastasia palettes here. Violet Vol. Oh, no, this is Tarte. Yeah, this is Tarte Clay Play. Juvia's Place takes up a huge spot in my collection. Their shadows are amazing. Then we have a couple more Violet Voss, and yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to take some palettes out of the top here and switch them up with some of the ones that are in my collection that I'm, like, wanting to use lately. And, uh, yeah, we will come back. Well, this is the Shop My Stash pile for the coming week, couple weeks, we'll see. So, Physician's Formula, Butter, Eyeshadow. I've also pulled out the new, or the, well, the old, the new uh, Lemonade Craze palette. Didn't love it too much, but I have the Soda Pop palette, and I kind of want to compare them. Then I also have the Matte palette, which is brand new, to me at least, and that Sephora blush palette. I also have these Melted Chromes by Essence. They're amazing. And I just grabbed out like a couple other things. I have the e.l.f. pomade for brows this week. A um, couple other foundations. Dream Cushion by Maybelline. Uh, this one was already in there. I love this foundation. This is the Vitalist Elixir from CoverGirl. Really good foundation. Pulled out the Hourglass just in case I needed a full coverage. And the Ordinary. This is a brand that has had so much weird stuff happening. I have their high adherence silicone primer. This is probably ready to go almost. I actually want to look up when I bought it. 
but I want to try it again because I didn't, I don't really have like an, oh, I don't really have an opinion on it to be honest, like that much. I can't remember. Anyway, I also have two of the Huda Beauty Matte Melt, the Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadows. I've been trying these for like two weeks. I still don't have a solid opinion on them but I'm trying. Anyway, um, so many new concealers. I have, I've never tried the Fit Me Concealer. I have that one in here right now. I have this Sephora Bright Future Corrector. I love this. And then I have a brand new one from Essence, the Camouflage Matte Concealer. And then I also have this Jouer Concealer. I got this at Christmas, but it's like three shades too dark. I mix it with my foundations. It's been great. I am not going to return it because, one, I don't remember the packaging. I was so excited to get it. It was not his fault. I got it in creme brulee. It was, it's just a little too dark. So anyway, I'm hoping in the summer months I'll get more use out of that, but I am using it a little bit. I have my Krylon liquid in here for liquid shadows. It got so gross. It fell over and leaked. I got to make sure it stays upright. It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Breakout. This is not good for coverage, but I think it is good for going over pimples. I have a little sample of the um, Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Spray, Cover Effects Drops. Let's see. Let's see. This is a highlighter that I still am trying to pan from last year's Project Pan. I want to start a new one this year, but I've got to get all the products together and whatnot. This is a new blush, Never Been Kissed. I love the ColourPop products. Oh my gosh, they cannot do any wrong. Anyway, the newest blush and glow from Natasha Denona and the old one are in here. Some new blushes from um, Essence. They're matte blushes. Bright, Brighten Up by Essence. This is a new product to me. Um, a new like bronzer duo from e.l.f. And then the stuff that we already picked. So yeah, tons of stuff to try. I'm going to do a look and I'll probably take some pictures of it and put it on my Instagram. Always check my Instagram because it has, you know, like my daily stuff. Anyway, I love you guys so much and yeah, bye.